Today on the channel, we review Machine Guns. Machine Gun Carl Anderson, that is, is his latest figure from Super 7. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Super 7 Ultimate Edition unboxing and review. And today, from the wrestling world, we've got Machine Gun Carl Anderson. And remember, for all your Super 7 needs, be it wrestling or anything else, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And that's exactly what I did to get Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows, of course. you got to get both of them. I don't know who would get just one or the other, but maybe somebody. But they are shipping right now, currently, from Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below, as I always say. Support the channel. Pick them up if you are so inclined. But we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. And we'll have some comparisons at the very end. So stick around for that. First off, we always take a look at these real quick. Pretty plain Jane on the packaging department. The protective box just says Carl Anderson squared out right there. So Carl Anderson, there it is. See you later. Off to the side. Then we get down to the old brass tacks. We get down to the packaging. And much like Doc Gallows, who we reviewed yesterday on the channel, if you missed that one, watch that one first, maybe. I don't know. I don't think it really matters, but you get the picture. Uh, but he had camouflage packaging. We get a little bit of a more uh, tight camouflage. Like, I don't know what differences between my camouflage. I'm just going to say uh, Doc Gallows old school camouflage, like G.I. Joe old school. This is more current day, like army camouflage, to me at least, to my eyes, to my untrained eyes. But we get that going on. It's got the machine gun, Carl Anderson logo. Much like we saw with Doc Gallows, we got bullet holes throughout the packaging here. And they are through the cardboard, which is, I think, a nice effect. Obviously, that costs some money there. Then you get Carl Anderson the same way on the back here. So, uh, interesting packaging. I don't know if it's the greatest packaging ever, but it is different. It sets them apart from everybody else. So, off to the side right there. See you later. Then we get the official packaging here. So there's old Carl Anderson, much like his partner in crime, Doc Gallows. Tons of hands. We do get a beer can. We do get three extra heads. Carl Anderson, good brothers. Ring ropes around the figure. That is a Super 7 wrestling figure staple. We saw it with Matt and Brian. We saw it with the New Japan Pro Wrestling Series 1 and Series 2. And then, of course, Andre the Giant. Can't forget old Andre there. Uh, it wraps all the way around both sides, as you can see. Super 7 logo on the top. Super 7, warnings, UPCs, that kind of fun stuff. And then the back, we get the nice big blurb. I like how that looks. It's got the old machine gun logo at the top, Carl Anderson. Let's see what it says about old Carl Anderson here. Machine gun is as dangerous as he sounds. After forming one of the most successful wrestling stables ever and winning multiple tag team titles in Japan, Carl Anderson made his way back to the United States alongside his tag team partner, Doc Gallows. Since then, they've added more gold to their collection, including the Impact Wrestling Tag Team Championship. Beer skis for the champ skis. So they are currently the tag team champions right now. Uh, so that is a nice uh, caveat. Very timely on the packaging here. And as you guys know, these are pre-ordered uh, a year in advance is when these go up for sale. So uh, good for them being very timely here. So there's the packaging. That's Machine Gun Carl Anderson. Let me get him out of the package. Y'all the twist ties, all that kind of stuff. And we'll be back with the old machine gun. All right, we got Carl Anderson out of the package. Got the twist ties removed so we can do a, a traditional plastic prison. There he is. Look at all those sets of hands, much like his partner in crime, the big LG. Three extra heads, and then, of course, the figure itself. And the beer can. Don't forget the beer can. Very important. Uh, let's get these heads out. Let's get those out. Holy hand city. There is so many hands going on here. It's unbelievable. Dare I say too many hands. I, I think I would have, much like Doc Gallows, take away a head, take away a set of hands, two set of hands, whatever it takes. Take those away. And uh, I would be fine with maybe a chair accessory, a table accessory, something, something. I don't need this many hands. I love hands as much as the next guy, but not that much. There it is. See you later. Off to the side. All right, Carl Anderson. So the first thing I notice when I get him out of the package here is uh, the lack of accessories. I talked about that. Uh, it seems the, the big LG, Doc Gallows, more money was spent on his figure than Carl Anderson as we at least got a little vest action with him. We get nothing with this, and that just, it does seem lacking here, especially for a Super 7, especially for an Ultimate Edition. I feel like I need a little bit more bells and whistles with this figure. Uh, I just feel like this, 
isn't quite up to Super 7 standards as far as total appeal of the figure. You know, when you get these traditional uh, He-Man figures back in the day, you get your Thundercats, the brand new Simpson figures that are coming. It seems like there's a lot more bells and whistles to those figures than Carl Anderson here. And nothing against Carl Anderson personally, but it's just very, very plain Jane. There's just not a lot going on right here. He's got his tattoo work, much like we saw with Doc Gallows. That looks really good. Uh, the tights have a lot of details to them. Got his name, Machine Gun, on the back here. Uh, you got your knee pads. You got your black shiny boots. But, man, it's just a plain Jane wrestling figure. I don't know if there is enough, like I said earlier, meat on the bone here for this one. But I got to think people are going to buy the two together. You need the tag team. I don't know if anybody's buying Carl Anderson by himself, but maybe, maybe somebody is. Uh, but then, once again, as we've talked about Super 7 figures before, I absolutely love the Super 7 figures, but just very plain Jane, uh, especially in the abs and the face. Uh, there's something about them struggling with a little bit of the human counterparts a little bit. Uh, not the worst, it just it just looks plain. It looks like there's just something missing. There's something missing here. We should have got a soft, good shirt, possibly. Uh, something along those lines. Obviously, his big uh, entrance gear would have been nice as well. Just awfully, awfully plain here. Uh, and he does have that shading to the face that we're used to with Super 7. Uh, just a tad cartoony, not as lifelike as some of the other wrestling figure lines uh, that we have. Of course, the hands are removable. We do have wrist tape on here. It is molded in, uh, so it is not removable like we see sometimes with figures. Uh, single jointed elbows, bicep swivels, big ratchets, big heavy-duty ratchets on the shoulders all around. You guys know all those articulation. Head removable, moves around. Big ab crunch there, front and back. Uh, not as not as crazy as some figures, but I think just enough for a wrestling figure for me. Uh, you get a little bit of waist. Ugh, waist, very tight, but it will break through. Uh, no thigh swivel, but you do get knees, single jointed knees. Uh, and then you get uh, the ankles that move up, down, all around. No uh, calf swivel or any of that. So not as articulated as some of the Mattels and things like that. That's not what Super 7 does. Uh, and sometimes, i got to be honest, I don't need all the articulation. It depends on the figure. It depends on what I'm looking for. Spider-Man, he's got to have tons of articulation. But I really do like the pinless joints. I would prefer pinless joints over double articulation. I think they look a lot cleaner. And I'm not a player. If you're a player, a poser, a figure photographer, you want some of those uh, double-jointed crazy moves. For somebody that just displays like I do, I don't really need all that. But pinless joints, I do like because it does really make the figure look much cleaner. Uh, the head sculpt on, that is on here, very plain Jane. I think you pop this off. I don't know if you could say, hey, this is Carl Anderson. Just looks like a bald guy with a beard is what it looks like. Let's try some of these other heads here. Uh, this one is depressed Carl Anderson. After a tough loss, I'm just going to lay that on there before I'm going to fight it. Just looks like a tough loss going on here. Kind of a sad puppy dog face on this one. Uh, and then we got the smiling, smirking face. Uh, this is what I think of with Carl Anderson, kind of that cocky side-eye smirk a little bit. So we got that one represented. And what's this one? So this is where he almost looks... We had a head from Doc Gallows that looked like Carl Anderson. Now we have a Carl Anderson head that looks like Doc Gallows. A screaming one with his tongue going on there. Once again, great for figure photography. Probably not the best for everyday display. Uh, but a pretty crazy looking head there with him screaming with his tongue kind of hanging out. Very funny look uh, to that one there. Uh, so we got him here. Carl Anderson, it's okay. I guess if I had to choose between him or Doc Gallows, I'm taking Doc Gallows all day long. Uh, hands, I guess I should cover the hands, shouldn't I? Uh, much like Doc Gallows, the same hand assortment, basically. We got the two pointing fingers. No wrist tape like Doc Gallows, so you know the difference. But we got the pointing fingers. We got the waving fingers, slapping hands, whatever you want to call them. Uh, we got the C-grip, you know, hands to hold things. That would hold the beer can as I knock him over. Same identical beer can we saw before. Does not fit in the grasping hand, so that is pretty unfortunate. And then it's too big for the C-clamp hand, so it's got to go in this hand, which, yeah, it doesn't really work very well. They should have thought this through. I like the idea of the beer can, but, man, make a beer hand holder, uh, a beer can hand holder. Easy for me to say. Uh, but then we get two fisted hands, very small fisted hands, uh, as well with uh, Carl Anderson here. So we get the hands, we get some of that. Uh, just a few things I would change for sure. Uh, well, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. I don't know if this is the value for everybody. I don't know if this is going to be a big time hot seller. Uh, but we might as well get Doc Gallows out here. We'll do a little comparison, get the Good Brothers together. I got to think all in all, this is going to be a little, hmm, how do I say this? I don't know. This might sell better than New Japan Pro Wrestling. Just a hair better. Uh, there is four figures, eight really in that line. 
I don't know. I don't know how well this will sell. I don't think it'll sell in the volume of the Matt and Brian. I don't think it'll be in the volume of Thundercats, G.I. Joe, anything like that. This is a little bit niche, and Super 7 is niche. It's not Mattel. It's not Hasbro. It's not even Jazzwares. It is a niche company not everybody knows about, but I'm happy they are doing what they do, bringing us the figures they are. But I just don't know if these two are for everybody. I think some people will pass on these. You guys in the comments below, tell me, are you picking these up? Are you passing on them? Let me know. I'd be very interested to hear. How about a little comparison action? Of course, we got the Mattel Carl Anderson. A very good figure. Much like Doc Gallo's figure I thought was very good. Uh, that one is very good. I might as well grab this one too, huh? So there you go. You got both versions. You got the Super 7 set. You got the Mattel set. Which one do you prefer? Obviously, you get both Mattels. Not now, but back when they came out, you could have got both Mattels cheaper than one of these. But inflation and price changes, stuff like that has come. Uh, but interesting. It's uh, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows through the years is almost what we're looking at here. But we got the Good Brothers right there. Of course, you got Kenny Omega, AEW Jazz Wears. So you can see he fits right in that group there. So, you know, Kenny Omega, the Good Brothers, Young Bucks, they were on AEW TV for a long time. I don't anticipate Jazzwares figures from these two. You never know. Stranger things could happen. Uh, Impact does not have toy license right now, so they do not have toy figures. So really, to get these two, I'm glad Super 7 came up to the plate. It's not like we have another opportunity to get these somewhere else. So that does help things for a hardcore wrestling collector like me and probably a lot of you guys out there. I'm happy just to get the Good Brother figures. Uh, and there could always be constant learnings, constant improvements, as we always talk about. But we've got Kenny Omega, of course. How about Matt Cardona, Super 7? Same kind of world. So you got that right there. And then, of course, Brian Myers as well. Old Brian Myers. So this is almost like a set. New Japan Pro Wrestling was a set of four. You can almost put these guys as kind of a wrestling set of four. It'll be interesting. It'll be very interesting where Super 7 goes with the licenses from here. I got to think we're going to get Matt and Brian re-released in different gear. I think that's happening. They're going to, most of their molds, all that kind of fun stuff, they're going to do that. Uh, their fan base is rabid. They're going to pick those up. So Super 7, uh, they're not shy of making money. It is business. I got my business hat on today. They're going to make more of them. It'll be interesting on these two. Will they make maybe traditional wrestling outfits for these guys? I guess stay tuned. It'll all depend on how well these sell. And of course, like I said, link in the description below, Big Bad Toy Store. You can get all four of these figures shipping right now if you are so inclined. Pick them up, might as well. Uh, but it'll be interesting the future of Super 7 and the wrestling license. We know we got another Andre the Giant coming next. I gotta assume that's the next re wrestling figure from Super 7. Mum has been the word on New Japan Pro Wrestling Series 3. My gut tells me that line is done. Uh, maybe we'll get another Andre the Giant. I don't know how deep that license is going to go. I'd bet the house on a Matt and Brian, uh, another repaint of them and some more releases from them. Not sure how this will sit, but then the question is, will they have other wrestlers? Is there other wrestling license they've grabbed? Is there some Super 7 Impact Wrestling figures possible in the future? You know, Matt and Brian, they got a relationship with Super 7. They might be bringing some of their friends over, stuff like that. So stranger things have happened, but I'm here for it. The more wrestling figures, the better. But to me... I'm going to put Doc Gallows as my favorite of the two, Carl Anderson, just because it's so plain. It's such the plainest Super 7 wrestling figure we've gotten to date uh, from where I sit. And you guys know that's right here at this table. But what say you guys? Let me know your thoughts on these. Let me know your thoughts on Super 7 wrestling figures. Any guesses who we might see in the future? Any people you'd like to see in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson, support the channel. So there it is, the good brothers in action. And for Carl Anderson, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.